Ian. Hello. And um, welcome to um, the offices of Indie Authors World today. And um, we're just going to re-chat about um, the Zima Confession, your your new book. So congratulations, first of all, in publishing. Yep. Thank you very much. Yep. <laughs> How does it feel to to have your have your book out now? Well, it feels a bit um, daunting. I think <laughs> more daunting than I expected. <laughs> You've, you've, it's been a, a long time coming, you said you've been writing this book for quite yes, a while. Yes, exactly. Um, it, it started off probably in 2014. Uh, I was made redundant from a, a company I was working with in finance, uh, well, software, banking software. Yeah. Um, and I was a bit annoyed about that, so I decided to start thinking about how you could um, destroy the entire banking system. And that was how the book came about, basically. So we've got this, so, so the Zima Confession then, so what's the, um, what's the hook then that someone's going to be interested in? The, the hook, well, well, basically it's about um, somebody who's a, a, a committed anarchist and he, he wants to destroy um, something very significant within the capitalist system that would bring about revolution and bring about this beautiful new world order that he, he wants to achieve. Yeah. So... So, and it's about how that goes wrong and he gets into a terrible mess and has to extract himself for it from it. <laughs> so the book starts off in Glasgow. That's right, yeah. So back in 1977, all right? Is yes, it? I was thinking back to my own student days, obviously. You can tell that, I think. Um, so, yeah, it starts off in Glasgow um, in a sort of student squat, I suppose you could, you could call it. Uh, and then, um, and then the book moves. If, you know, fast forward a few years. We're not. Yeah. We're not going to give too much away about the plot. That's it? yeah. It's always but dangerous because the plot is very complicated. I don't know how to talk about the book without giving away some very significant piece of information. <laughs> um, but yes, it goes years later. Nothing's happened, and he's in London, uh, or rather, he's he's moving around uh, with his company, and I think he's in, based in London, and he's still keen to get on with this plot, keen to activate it, and he realises he's got a, a real chance of doing it now because he's working for a banking software company, yeah. and even though he's not a very significant person in that company, he thinks he can do a lot of damage. Okay, so there's this, there's this level of intrigue as to whether it's going, whether it's going to work. Yeah. But you've got elements from the book that take you um, beyond Glasgow and London then, so where, where else is, the, is some of the story? So he ends up being taken off to Moscow um, and interrogated in Moscow in a more severe manner than he was expecting. Um, so there's quite a few scenes in Moscow. Um, he also goes, gets shipped off to Chennai to do something um, and he ends up um, in Frankfurt and, and that's where the book concludes. Yeah. So okay. Helsinki's mentioned as well. They're all places I, I've been and liked so um, I thought I'd throw them in the into the book because, um, you know, to, to me, I'm still somebody, although I travel a lot, I'm still somebody that's excited by travel and I like to, you know, read about travel as well in, yeah. in books. So we, we were chatting earlier um, about, so not even just um, kind of like, like, like travel, but to a degree you, you've moved, you moved to a particular place because you knew you were going to be writing some of the books there. That's there. right, and yes. Tell us a bit more about it. So where, where are you working and living now? Yeah, so I'm, <laughs> I'm working in Moscow now, even yeah. now. Um, I've been there for five years. Uh, that came about after leaving banking. I didn't want to get back into software. I wanted to do something that's a bit more um, stable in, in, in the respect that you don't need to keep re- uh, educating yourself in the latest technology so I decided to become an English teacher teaching English as a foreign language and I um, managed to get myself sent to Moscow partly because um, of the book and because I knew I wanted to write some scenes in an, on a, in an authentic way in the book yeah so you got to actually go and live live the life in Moscow to kind of, so you could you could write the, from, um, from a from uh, point of knowledge, I suppose. Then. Yes, exactly. I wanted this, the scenes to be as authentic as possible. Um, because at one point before going to Moscow, I kind of assumed it would be a bit like Glasgow in many ways because it's in the same latitude and it wasn't at all. So hopefully that comes through in the book that the, the, the authentic flavour of Moscow is in there somewhere. Yeah. So we have this, 
real political thriller then that we're looking for people to kind of who who would enjoy you know any sort of thriller book I suppose is what would where the, the audience would be for this uh, I think so yes it's it's a little bit of a crossover between thriller and sci-fi in my opinion but mainly thriller yeah okay. yeah so so cool so so the book is sitting there behind you the Zima Confession that's it yes that's the one <laughs> and it's out now all good all good bookshops online yeah, everyone can get it wherever they um, wherever they want to find it yes exactly um, yeah. and where where can they connect with you then because you've got you've got a website I've got a website called thezimmerconfession.com and um well, I don't know how they can connect with me, but they can send me an email <laughs> through that that uh, yep. that site. I, I might try and organise some sort of news newsletter thing that that comes out regularly, yep. but I'm not sure if I'll be able to maintain that or not. You know, that yep. might be a lot of work to do, <laughs> <laughs> and I don't like work. <laughs> uh, so, have you got plans for plans for more writing in the future? I have. I've, I've already started a new book. It's not connected to this book at all. It's a, it's kind of a cross between probably horror and sci-fi or at least magic realism and, and sci-fi. I'm not sure what it is yet. I need to write a bit more of it before I decide where to take it. So how have you found life as an author then? You know, has, has, has it kind of sunk in that you, this is, you can now add that to you as a job title? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, well, I have tried to add it as a job title. I don't know if there's any, anyone's interested in it, but yes. Um, so I've put it on my LinkedIn profile and all that sort of thing. Um, I don't quite feel like an author yet. I think um, that might happen in the months to come, hopefully, you know, if, if, if people are interested enough yeah. in, in the book. So what would you what would you hope that um, somebody reading the book would would get from it? What what, what would you hope that a reader would would feel like? Well, I, I hope it will be quite an exciting book. It kind of starts off slowly, in my own opinion, um, but I hope it does develop into quite an exciting story and intriguing, perhaps rather than exciting. Um, it, it should give people quite a lot to think about as well. I think. Um, Part of my reason for wanting to write this was was a good friend of mine, Russell Brand, um, who uh, I was surprised to find this sort of young, handsome, trendy guy declared himself to be a Marxist, and and I was kind of appalled at that. I thought, surely the the days of Marxism are well and truly over now, and young, trendy people shouldn't be considering themselves to be Marxists, and that was part of my motivation. So if you read the book. There's quite a theme about that. It's quite a lot of criticism of Marxism. There's a lot of criticism about the financial system as well to balance things in a way, and other things to, to think about as you're reading. So there's so there's some some uh, some meaty thoughts as well as a bit of entertainment in there. From, that was from my intention. Maybe they're terribly <laughs> shallow thoughts. And I don't know, but they were supposed to be meaty. Yeah. yeah fantastic. So you're going to be heading back to to Moscow um, in and. Okay. A few weeks. Yep, in so, a few weeks in September, middle of September, I'm, yep. I'm heading back. Yep. Um, and, uh, and people can find you online because we've got some um, social media. So you've got a, a Facebook, Facebook page. Facebook uh, page for the Zimmer Con Confession. And I've got a Twitter page which is might, you know, come to life, I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> and and the, the website itself. Yeah. Yeah, so they were good ideas for people to kind of just connect with you on there and um, and, and see how see how see what they like. But we want people to read the book, um, and you'd love to hear from from readers then. To yes, exactly. I'd like to, to you know if, if people read the book, then get in touch, tell me what you think and what was good, bad, or indifferent. Yeah. <laughs> so, so we'll look forward to we'll look forward to seeing more. So thank you very much, Ian. Thank you. Yeah.